we want to evaluate the limit of the rational function as x approaches infinity. We will go over two methods on how to determine this limit. The first method uses the degree of the numerator and denominator. The second method takes a more algebraic approach. Let's begin by determining the degree of the numerator and denominator. Notice the degree of the numerator is five, the highest power on x, and the degree of the denominator is three, again the highest power on x. The degree of the numerator is greater than the degree of the denominator. Looking at the three cases below, because the degree of the numerator is greater than the degree of the denominator, the limit approaches plus or minus infinity and does not exist. So focusing on just these two terms, as x approaches infinity, two x to the fifth is positive, and so is nine x to the third, and therefore this limit approaches positive infinity, which indicates the limit doesn't exist. The second method to determine this limit is the more general approach to divide the terms in the numerator and denominator by the highest power of the variable in the denominator. Looking at the denominator, the highest power on the variable is three, and therefore we divide each term by x cubed. Next we simplify. Eight x squared divided by x cubed simplifies to eight divided by x plus two x to the fifth divided by x cubed simplifies to two x squared plus eight divided by x cubed doesn't simplify. In the denominator, nine x cubed divided by x cubed is nine plus x squared divided by x cubed is one over x plus three divided by x cubed doesn't simplify. Now from here remember, when we have a fraction where the numerator is a constant and the denominator approaches positive or negative infinity, the value approaches zero. Eight divided by x approaches zero as x approaches infinity. Two x squared approaches infinity as x approaches infinity. Eight divided by x cubed approaches zero as x approaches infinity. In the denominator, nine is not affected by x. One divided by x approaches zero as x approaches infinity, and three divided by x cubed approaches zero as x approaches infinity. Because the numerator is approaching infinity and the denominator is stuck at nine, the limit approaches positive infinity and does not exist. I hope you found this helpful.